The Stortmont executive has confirmed that Northern Ireland's hotels and bars and restaurants and caves, uh, cafes rather, can reopen from 3rd July. Hotels in the country had been given an indicative date of 20th of July for reopening, but the tourism sector had pressed for an earlier date. Now, self-catering accommodations such as caravans can also open for 26th of June. First Minister Alan Foster said the moves will only go ahead if the spread of the virus remains low. Many in the tourism and hospitality industries had been calling for the date of 20th of July to be brought forward after the Irish government said the sectors in the Republic of Ireland could reopen on June the 29th. And joining us now from Dublin is uh, Sarah Crater, Crater rather, who is a journalist, and she brings us up to speed with the reality over there. Good afternoon, Sarah. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, how are you there? Thank you for joining us. Sarah, what's the mood of the people about the possible reopening of bars and hotels in Ireland? So there has been a mixed feeling around the, the country as well as uh, in the EU as slowly things started to reopen here. And Ireland, um, compared to other member states, has taken a more conservative approach. So if, uh, you know, from yesterday, most of the EU countries have been reopening their border, their internal um, borders and bar, theatres uh, and cinema has slowly been uh, reopening. Here in the Republic of Ireland, things have been um, much slowly and conservative in terms of uh, when the country will be back mm -hmm. to a, a kind of a normality. And um, if you will look at the roadmap that the country um, was putting forward, um, then yeah, there are discussion on trying to ease those restrictions much earlier. And now we are discussing about uh, opening uh, the, the tourism industry by the end of the month, mm -hmm. with the possibility also to reopening the EU external border by the 1st of uh, July. Um, so definitely there is a huge, um, this will have a huge impact, especially for the economy, as uh, there are more than uh, 1 million people currently or partially under uh, the state uh, support in a country where uh, 2.5 million uh, are um, into the work labor. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine how this, uh, this virus had an impact on the economy as well? Yeah, which brings me to my next question, Sarah. Uh, yes, tourism sector is one of the mainstay of the economy in the country. Now, what are the likely protocols in place to avoid a surge? So first of all, there is a huge um, uh, consideration on local tourism. So what the state really want to do is to put in, put forward uh, the, the idea of being local. So trying to, um, as much as possible, uh, convince the, the, the Irish uh, citizen to stay and uh, having a vacation in Ireland where most of them wanted to go to, to beaches uh, in, 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 uh, in Italy or Spain and so on. But from the hotel point of view, they are really trying to adapt uh, into a new um, protocols in terms of uh, how this um, industry can safely reopen. There is a huge discussion about uh, wearing masks uh, in, in publics um, like uh, on buses or trains uh, as it's still very difficult for the population to, to get used to, to wearing masks, for example. Um, but definitely uh, there is a lot of discussion on uh, green tourism, for example, like uh, biking or uh, um, you know, more like caravans and, and things like that that are also very, very um, common here in, a, in the Republic of Ireland. All right. Before I let you go, uh, yeah. Sarah, what could be the strategy to attract tourists outside the country? Is there going to be like easier access to visa? And have they considered that many countries are yet to open their airspace also? Yeah, so this is, as I was saying, is a huge discussion and I do believe that Ireland is, uh, is still conservative on, on this and, and, uh, and consider that uh, at the time being for foreigner entering uh, the Ireland, you still need to uh, have 14 days uh, of self-isolation at home. Um, so uh, compared to other EU countries where the restrictions have been, uh, in, uh, been eased uh, much before, like for example Italy or, or Germany, Germany or, or even Greece, there are discussion of tourism, tourism uh, corridors 
you know, between states that have the uh, same number of, um, of uh, cases uh, or, or things like that. Mm -hmm. So in general, I, I do think that uh, the situation here in Ireland is going better in terms of cases. As uh, just yesterday, we didn't record any new death. Um, there were just 18 cases, but the, the government is, is really cautious about uh, easing restriction and they want to be sure that the island is, is free from the virus All before right. reopening, you know. All right. Sarah Creta, thank you so very much for your time and keep safe out there, though. Thank you so much and uh, talk to you soon. All right.